Okay, I've got this project I'm gonna do. It's gonna be an electric bike, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna do a review on this bike. Bike. Hmm. The Roadmaster. This is the machine that tells the road what to do. It's clear. I bought it from Walmart just now. It's like 80 bucks. 79, 90 something. I'm gonna talk about it some. Pros, cons. Tell you everything you need to know. Everything you need to know. Okay, 26 inch wheel, say five foot two to five ten. I already exceed that, whatever. I'm still gonna ride it. I'm gonna start by looking at the tires. The tires look pretty decent. They feel good. They're squishy, like you're gonna hit some bumps and they're gonna get some squish going. Aluminum rims, not bad. Feel sturdy. I don't see the seam. Hmm. Usually these things break at the seam. Oh, there's the seam. It'll probably hold itself together. You like spin the wheels and they're not all like wobbling all over the place. Not all the bikes are like that though. So you might, if you get one, have to like adjust the spokes, by tightening and loosening them or whatever. But, uh, ground assault. <laughs> there, it's got front suspension. That's cool. I like that because uh, I don't like bumps as much without bumps. Hmm. Front to back. We'll go front to back. Pros, cons, details. You can remove the front wheel, like any normal bicycle. That's good. So I guess that's a pro, but there's a con, because there's no quick disconnect, so you're gonna need a wrench or something to get that wheel off. Cantilever brakes, not bad. I like me some cantilever brakes. Get you, get you some real good squeeze on that rim. They're not your standard cantilever brake like you'd get on like a Schwinn, like a nice Schwinn. They're like this stamped steel lever portion and uh, anyway it does the same job but essentially it appears weaker than your like name brand high dollar cantilever brake but hey what do you what do you expect for 80 bucks con you can't adjust the front suspension like no gas or well maybe you could like torque it down some more i don't know oh what's the brand it's got a brand roadmaster uh, maybe that's just the brand Oh gosh, I just realized <laughs> Roadmaster is the brand. The name of the bike is Granite Peak. Mm. <laughs> Bro, the front is labeled. Pro, get yourself a reflective piece, you know, so when you're going head on to the car, it knows, hey man, there's a bike there. Ah, uh, so the brakes, yeah, they're cantilever, but let's go with a con on this. They got, the, they're made of this like plastic. Ah, uh, it just feels like if, when and if you really need to call on these brakes, like you're freaking out and you're just squeezing the life out of these brakes, they might break on you, literally. Hmm. Fi I mean, figuratively, I don't know. They're pushing, they're pushing the quality here. Ooh, rubber grips, not bad. Twisty uh, gear shifts seem solid enough. Like I've, 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 they work well too for being an $80 bike. The frame, it's a pretty decent like width. It's not a little skinny guy. It's pretty decent width. It feels like, you know, thick enough metal. Like, all of the metal on this bike feels like it's thick enough. I don't know if that's what you want, like, as a quality in a bike, but, you know, thick enough works. Got a warning label on the back of one of the forks here. It says, hey, read the, uh, read the manual. Yeah, that's kind of a weird place to put a hey read the manual label. Rear brakes and gear shifter cables run along the frame, uh, exposed, that's normal. The cranks, once again, <laughs> thick enough metal, plastic pedals, not bad. I feel a little bit of a drag on the bearing. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if those go second. What would go first? <laughs> But yeah, they, they feel they feel good. They've got a good spin to them. They're not like grinding straight out of the store. Chain, it's in decent shape. It's got a stamp on every on every link. It says HP. Huh? Who did own? Hewlett Packard. They make chains. Hmm. <laughs> the front gears seem to be decent. There's some rivets, some screws. It's got a kickstand. Mm, you know you want some kickstand. I mean, you, you kick it and it'll stand. <sighs> the seat is nothing to write home about, but it's everything to put in a product review. So definitely do that if you're making a review. Uh, 
Oh, that's weird. I've got what appears to be, I would say that that was probably a rear reflector that was on that uh, plastic thing. Hmm. Guess I just didn't see that missing in or I knocked it off. Quick release on the seat stem, not bad. Also the seat stem itself is actually pretty, pretty impressively long. That'll uh, yeah, you could ride this thing with stilts. Tap on the brake stem, I would say that's thick, thick metal. Not just thick enough, I'd say that's thick. Roadmaster, it's the brand, I don't know why. Don't know why I didn't put that together. Ah. In the first place. Okay, back towards the rear, we got the cantilever brakes again. I like how, the you know, with the way the wheel spins, they're on the rear side so that just in case they fail, they'll also get like munched up between the frame and the wheel. Ooh, look at this made in China. Go figure. Just like uh, Walmart, a lot of stuff is made in China. I mean, it's one of the best ways to get a lot of China's best wares. And there's a decent amount of made in America stuff there, but I don't know about the bikes. Moving back to the gear set, uh, the gears are, are decent. So you're not gonna find yourself a Shimano with this. This one's a torque drive system, TD1. It was actually adjusted uh, fairly decently, but you know, you might need to adjust the gears when you buy a bike from Walmart for $80 because it's a bike from Walmart for $80. Man, I'm at the back of the bike. When I was thinking about doing this review, I was like, man, it's gonna be great because I had so much to say. I, just, I didn't, I don't. There's really not that much to say. Like, there's a pro, there's reflectors in the, in the wheels. Pro, all of my spokes are tight. Pro, it's got 18 speeds. That's one better than 17 and one less better than 19. Con, this seat is cheap, not comfortable, gets the job done, but ugh. Pro, front suspension. Con, the pedals are cheap. They're like this plasticky, ugh. They just feel so cheap. Be safe, wear a helmet, nice. Yeah, Pro, it's got a manual. Look at that, big old, that manual is huge. Why is it so big? Maybe it's got a lot of like, it's in every language on the planet. Okay, so if you wanna see this bike turn into an electric bike, you should subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, got some plans, man, some big old plans with this bike. Oh. Okay, and how does it ride, you ask? So this thing, as an $80 bike normally would be from Walmart, it, it rides, smooth enough you know i've owned a lot of bikes in my day and it's just it's a normal bike my toes aren't like revving up against the uh tire when i'm turning and the seat does go up high enough for me i'm six feet tall yeah you can like out accessorize a bike to make it better in a lot of ways i would imagine you're probably thinking about buying this because it's 80 dollars, and you probably do not want to spend any more dollars on it if you need a bike and you don't have one, you should maybe consider buying this bike. Got any questions about the bike? Leave a comment below. All right, well, I hope that helped. See you later, internet.